So the 12 VPWR connector is so bad, especially when you pair it with a high powered video card like a 5080 or a 5090, because it over volts, it either melts the connector and or the cable. And this person here has come up with a solution. Now this looks rather ghetto. You've got the connectors coming in here and you've got basically fuses. So if it goes over, it will blow, which makes sense. And this is the melted connector. To spend so much for a video card, thousands and thousands of dollars, especially for the high-end ones like the 5080 or the 5090, and to have all this happen, I, I'm sorry. Like, how can you how can you not be upset? How can you not hold Nvidia accountable for this cable design? There are some people who defend Nvidia and say, "Well, I haven't had a problem." Well, maybe you have like brilliant case cooling, or maybe you're lucky enough to have a card and you don't have a problem. Although that doesn't mean you're not going to have a problem. This connector is a problem. I usually produce a video every single day. So if you enjoy my content, there is something that you can do for me. Very simply, do what's above here. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and remember to hit that notification bell. Now, what a lot of people will do more than likely, especially the ones that are not having any problems, or maybe they were having problems, and they went, what happens if I underclock and underpower or undervolt the video card? Well, it becomes more stable. But, okay, that works, maybe, in some cases but you just spent thousands on a video card and you want it to be fast and you end up reducing the power and the clock speed to keep it stable? Okay. And if you look at this thread here, you'll see a lot of people saying things like user error. I don't know. And probably most of these are bots in support of NVIDIA. You can see hundreds of pictures like this, hundreds and thousands of accounts of people having problems with these connectors, but it's not a problem. It's a problem. It is a problem. This connector is a problem. As I mentioned in previous videos, I would rather see 400, I'm exaggerating, I would rather see four or five eight pin, you know, that good eight pin connector coming out of the video card. Sure, it doesn't look pretty. Who cares? Who cares if it's pretty? At least it's stable and you don't have to undervolt and underpower and underclock your video card. And look, look here. Someone has actually done it to this particular video card. I'm not sure. I don't think this one is a gaming video card, but there you go. Eight pin. Wonderful. Unless you have an aptitude for wiring and electrical stuff, you are not going to do this. However, if you know an electrical engineer, then maybe if you pay them 200 bucks, it might be worth it because it might save certainly your cables, your connectors, maybe your GPU, maybe your computer system, and maybe the building. Some others are saying, well, this is very old school, and it certainly is because the fuses here are, well, basic fuses. Once they blow, you have to actually pop it out and push it in. However, even to this day, these fuses are used in vehicles and buses and airplanes and all kinds of stuff. Why? They're simple and they work.
Now, this isn't a fix. This is just really protection, security, so you're not burning out the pins. Now, I know what you're thinking. So what happens when one of these fuses actually blow? Well, more than likely, your screen or screens are all going to go black, or the system is going to restart, or you're going to get, you know, the blue screen of death. However, however, it's still going to protect the pin. So really, this is an example here of how desperate people are to just have a video card that actually works. So you don't have cables and connectors, and like I said, even worse, something else burning down. Like you don't want your system to catch on fire, do you? If you leave it on, like for example, and you leave your home or you leave your office, I mean, more than likely that's not going to happen, but it could. But this is an example of how desperate people are to come up with some kind of solution. But still, you'll hear people saying, nah, it's, it's, all, it's all user error. It, it, there's nothing wrong with this design. 